Alright guys, this is going to be a video response to the Lazy Spoiled Kitty. Um, and there's my Lazy Spoiled Kitty, by the way. On his paracord video. Showing what he did with the paracord I sent him. So, I'm just going to do response and show you some of the things I did with paracord. Paracord's awesome stuff. I Hold on a second, let me... Turn the camper around while I turn. Paracord's awesome stuff, and I use it a lot. It, uh, it is some great, great product. The U.S. military uses it, and that's because it's great. So, here are some of the things that I've done with um, my 50 cord here. So let me go ahead and explain each one. Uh, first, let's start with this. Right here. Kershaw Ace. Okay, big whoop. And so this is the paracord lanyard I put on it. Uh, this is the kind of lanyard that, I guess, Chris Reed puts on his knives. And I learned how to make this from Cutlery Lover's Channel. So, that's that. It's a pretty small knife, so... Kind of adds a little bit more to grab onto. Okay, next one. This is just one that I put on the, um, the Kershaw Breakout, which update the automatic function. I guess the spring wore out, so I ordered another one today. But, um, I don't know what you'd call this lanyard. It's just a, uh, <coughs> sorry just a piece of, just a loop lanyard, and I took some of this, um, this desert tan stuff, and I wove it in between, so, yeah, pretty cool, uh, it helps to grab it, you know, this is kind of like a, uh, backup emergency knife, so, give you more to grab onto, more purchase on the handle. Well, not really, okay. Not more purchase, but... Oops. So, okay, my tripod's failing out on me. There we go. Gives you more of a, a surface to grab onto. Also, when I was uh, showing people this knife at first, you know, that thing was powerful. When I first opened it, it jumped out of my hands, too, so... Just kind of tell people to hold on to this before they open it. Push the button so it doesn't jump out of their hands. Alright. Next night. Uh, this is just a simple loop lanyard I put on the Leatherman Micra. I don't know. Looks cool, I guess. That's it. Okay. And then here I have on this little survival keychain. <coughs> I just have a... Um, Standard square lanyard with a little twist thrown in the middle here. Uh, it's really long. It's too long for a, a fixed blade or a folder, so it's just kind of an accessory here. Has some cordage to this kit. Next, I have on the Kershaw carabiner knife just a uh, another simple square lanyard. I don't know. Just figured, uh, why not? So, that's that. Um, this is the same style of lanyard that I put on here, but this one, I don't really know what happened. I guess I didn't know whether or not I wanted to actually do this or finish it or what, so, I guess this was kind of just like a, uh, prototype thing for this one here, but, uh, probably gonna take that off sometime soon, <coughs> next, on my SOG seal pup, I just decided on the sheath to throw a little bit of paracord looping through there, coming up the front, just, you know, as a, uh, an addition, since this is kind of a survival knife, 
I've got some duct tape in there and some nails. Never know what you're going to use nails for. Uh, on the handle, that's actually not 550 cord. It's uh, it's similar. It's thicker though. But um, yeah, that's just a wrist lanyard. And last but not least, I'm digging in my knife box. There it is. On the um, Victorinox Tinker. Just threw a standard loop lanyard on there. You know, I, I like to put these on my uh, multi-tools like that. <coughs> so, uh, yep. Anyway, Lazy Spoiled Kitty, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you enjoy your new goodies that you were able to make with the paracord. Hope you enjoy the paracord. Um, yeah, keep up the good videos. Uh, can't wait to watch them. And I guess that's it. Alright guys, thanks for watching.